In this video, I'm looking at Kali NetHunter Pro on a OnePlus 6T. NetHunter Pro is different from NetHunter, which is running on Android, but NetHunter Pro is running on a true GNU slash Linux operating system and uses the Fosh desktop environment. This is the login screen. I wanted to make note of the battery level. I'm using it at about half brightness. So if you want to follow along, you can see how quickly it drains with usage. Although this is not a proper battery test, you might get a slight idea. So first a system overview of NetHunter Pro. Here is the main screen on the Fosh environment and there are a few things to note, including the default apps and the apps that are available as mobile apps, which you can see here. With the phone tour, we can see how to navigate through the Fosh environment as provided by NetHunter Pro. There are also special mobile settings which will give you additional things in the quick settings menu. So here we can switch on a few extra settings for the quick settings which will then appear when we swipe down from the top. At its current state, most of these work, however the night light does not work. Other settings include turning on or off the mobile app filter, as well as certain sound settings. There are additional lock screen settings where you can adjust for the notifications. And interesting here, there is a convergence setting, which if you plug it to an external monitor, I suppose becomes more useful. However, I don't have the right equipment to test that. Nor do I have sensors to plug in. So here I've turned off the filter and showing all the apps available in the NetHunter suite that you can put on NetHunter Pro. I'll let you know now that these apps do not come pre-installed. In fact, none of the NetHunter apps come pre-installed, which I thought was a little bit strange. Later in the video, I'll show you how you can install these so you can use Kali NetHunter Pro as Kali Linux was intended. As you can see, some of these apps are not designed for the mobile environment and they won't work in a friendly way, but they are available on this operating system.
a lot of the Kali Linux applications are actually terminal-based apps. So using the terminal or the console here will allow you to access these apps and use them properly. Again, all of these security application tools do not come pre-installed and there are a few tweaks necessary to get it working in the state that you see here. I have installed the full NetHunter suite, but after doing so I noticed that it kind of broke some of these default things like calls and SMS. So even with the SIM card in, I was unable to get sound to come through the calls. And when browsing websites, I also did not get sound coming through, even when adjusting the sound settings. While additional tweaks to the system might be able to get it running, I didn't have the know-how or the time I would just hope that a mobile operating system would have these things working if I were to use it as a daily driver device. If I was wanting to use this just for the security testing of the applications, then it is still a useful tool. In this section, we're looking at the initial setup of Kali NetHunter Pro. So this is before installing any of the additional packages. Again, we're starting at 100% battery life and on 50% brightness. So if you want to check that out, you can see how that's going along. So here we can see the power supply information and we are at 50% brightness again. So we are connected to the Wi-Fi and this is the default set of applications. As you can see, even if we show the non-mobile friendly applications, there are no real NetHunter or Kali Linux applications installed. So if we open the console and we try to update our packages, you may get this error. So the first thing we need to do is actually change the time settings. I'd like to give acknowledgement to another user which I'll put in the description below. I followed his video to get started and that definitely helped out a lot. So that's what I'm doing here with a few additional comments. So first we do need to select the time zone for the updates and package manager to work properly. Now that the time has changed, we can go back to the console. And run sudo apt update again. And see that it will in fact reach the servers. Even though all packages are up to date, I'm going to run the upgrade command anyway.
The reason why these packages are not installed is unclear, but the reason why we can't install them is because a certain part of the apt sources list needs to be updated. So on first install of NetHunter Pro, it's a little bit frustrating to see that it doesn't actually have any NetHunter features in it. But we can modify the sources list for apt and then install these packages afterward. So here we are indeed running Kali GNU slash Linux, but there are no Kali applications installed. We do see that Vim is installed as an editor. If you open it like this, it's a little bit tricky to use. So we are going to run it from the console directly. So su do vim and then the sources for apt are located here. I will link to the original video that I used to help me and I will put the commands below. So this is where we have to edit the line, or add to it rather. So where it says non-free firmware, we also want this to be able to access the non-free repositories. So if we press A, we can edit this. Type non-free, then hit escape, colon, x to save and exit. Now we can run apt update again, and we should be able to install the Kali Linux applications. So instead of having to install each application individually, we can install the full NetHunter suite. However, as mentioned earlier in the video, it might break the system in terms of sound or other mobile features. So we can now install Nmap and use it as you would on a regular Kali system. So to install the full NetHunter suite, we install the package through the console. sudo apt install Kali Linux NetHunter. Now I'm not going to do that here. Again, you can follow the link to the other video if you want to see how that setup goes. But if you do install the NetHunter suite, you're going to want to run 
these commands before rebooting, as shown on the screen and in the description below. This will allow you to get back into the Fosh desktop environment without needing a keyboard to change from light DM back to Fosh. I do want to note that even though I have not installed NetHunter Suite, I was unable to get the SIM card working on this basic install. So originally I feel like it did work, but I was unable to produce the results again. So that's my first attempt at using Kali NetHunter Pro on a OnePlus 6T. As I mentioned, there are still a few bugs that would prevent me from using this as a daily device, as I would with a regular mobile device. It does feel like it's lagging behind post-market OS in that sense, but if you want the Debian-based mobile OS with the ability to install the Kali Linux applications, then this device does work in its current state for those options. So hopefully that gives you a little look into the current state of NetHunter Pro. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below in the comments. Thanks again for watching and if you enjoyed this and haven't done so already, please like and subscribe.